My name is Chris Yoder. I am commissioned to speak solely by myself, but I will presume to speak on behalf of the conservative principles of a free market economy. I will presume to speak on behalf of the overburdened taxpayers of our state. First, a free market economy. The principle is simple. When I turn on a light, when I turn down the temperature of my air conditioner, I, the decision maker, should bear the cost of that decision. The cost of that decision should not be socialized into the lungs of the people of Maryland. For the taxpayers, Maryland has a very high tax burden and a significant contribution to that are the Medicaid costs of those who are burdened with chronic lung diseases. A very hard portion of our, our economy bears a very heavy burden from the lost productivity of those people who are unable to be productive citizens because they have chronic lung disease. You've heard from others talking of morality. I leave it to you to justify the morality of using the lungs of sick infants, of the elderly, of the infirm, to filter the pollution that comes from our electric generation plants, especially at a time when there is technologically proven, widely available, cost-effective alternatives. Our governor was elected on the principles of a conservative government. One of the core principles of a conservative government is that we call upon the government to do only those things that the people are unable to do for themselves. The people cannot filter the air. Only the generators can filter the air and MDE has the authority and the responsibility under a conservative government to do that. I believe that the answer is simple. SCR technology, every stack, everywhere. SCR technology, every minute, every hour. To do less is to repudiate the principles upon which our governor was elected. To do that less is to betray the mission of the Maryland Department of Environment.